guys, welcome to Trending brought to you by Airtel. My name is Nancy Isim. It's always a pleasure to have you join me on this show. As you know, we discuss everything and everyone that is trending. Today is no different. When I go on this break and come back, the show begins. I'll be right back. Welcome back to Trending brought to you by Airtel. Our guest today needs no introduction. Please welcome Joe Boy. Yay. How are you? Good, good. So good to see you today. What's popping? Marilyn. Great. Really good. Amazing. I love your style. There's a, a segment of the show called <laughs> the Style you. of Day segment yeah. where you get to tell us about what you're wearing and the inspiration behind it. Please tell us about it. I'm rocking my, my stylist where it's called um, Adonis. Okay. Adonis. So I just wanted something comfortable. Like right. It's just really comfortable. So you can see the trousers are free. Right. The shoes are... I like call it big, <laughs> big, <laughs> and it's just like a free shirt. But right. I, I wanted to do something that actually like rhymed my air, my new air color. Right, which I, I can this. see. Yeah, and fun fact, this is actually my first time revealing this air on TV. For real? Yeah. Glad yeah. to be the first. Yeah, yeah amazing. So exclusive new job or Esther. Yes, come on. What is bad your hair though? Oh, well, I just wanted to do something like different. I just wanted a different color. It looks good. I think it Thank blends you. with you. Amazing, man. Would you call your style or te? No, because maybe, you have some maybe rings going on and some like uh, chains on to your be neck. Honest, like I just started like rocky rings a few months back, so right. I, I could say this look is okay ish in a way. Right, yeah. but just this look, just no, this not look. generally. I'm, I'm not okay. Okay, <laughs> okay, if you say so. <laughs> now today's topic is the importance of style and identity in pop culture. Yeah. You're recently ranked as one of Billboard's top artists with the most global views. Yeah. How was the reception? How did you feel about um, this? It felt really amazing. Like, it's really, really motivating to see that um, mm. we are growing. Like, I'm not where I was last year. Mm -hmm. And it's just like more ginger, more film to put in more work. Yeah. Mm. How long have you done music? Professionally, like two, three years. Yeah. No way. Yeah. Had you always wanted to do music? No, I wanted to be a banker at, no some, way. at some point. Like, music was just like for fun. Right. Or from like an hobby. Right. Tell us about your educational background. Uh, I just uh, finished in um, University of Lagos. Okay. Human resources. Oh, yeah. for real? HR? Yeah. yeah. Do you see yourself ever falling back to that, doing HR? I don't know, like, who knows where life might take me. Yeah. Did you do a bit of it, a bit of HR? No, I just studied it. I didn't, like, work in an office. Okay, that's yeah. not bad. Um, well, you're one of the new generation artists who are yeah. making waves for sure. What is your unique selling point? What would you say it is? <laughs> My unique selling point, I'd say, is um, catchy, catchy mm. songs, like mm. catchy choruses. Mm. Like, like every song I've put out so far, like, it's hard for you to forget the chorus. Mm. Yeah. Who's your biggest inspiration? My biggest inspiration, like, I don't have just one, like, there's a couple of them from Mr. Easy to Whiskey to David o to Burnout Boy. They inspire me one way or the other. So even to Baba. Yeah. Do they inspire kind of music? Yeah, definitely. I listen to them a lot. For real? Yeah. How about internationally? Anyway? Internationally. Um, Chris Brown, John Bellion, and Post Malone. Oh, wow. Chris yeah. Brown, do you, do you dance at all? I wish I could, but I'm learning. <laughs> okay. I'm learning. Okay. Yeah. Let's talk about the phrase Afro pop. Yeah. You know, it started off a new trend and everyone is jumping on it. Well, not everyone really can do it. Some people are doing it really, really well. Do you yeah. think that, you know, it's given a platform for especially vocalists? I mean, yeah. do you think it's given that platform to them? Yeah, yeah, it does definitely. Like, the way um, people are accepting new sounds, I think it's easier for vocalists to actually, like, experiment and do a lot with their voices. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When people think about Joe Boy, what do you want people to think about? Yeah, I want them to be happy. Like, once you hear my name, once you hear my music, like, I just want you to feel happy inside. Mm. Yeah. For someone like me, yeah. I know your songs, yeah. but I don't really know Joe Boy. Yeah. So, for those watching right now, they have the opportunity to know who Joe Boy is. Apart from the amazing melody, the yeah. amazing hits, what else want them to identify with? As a young, young Nigerian, young African that chased his dreams and touched life with music, yeah. I'm interested to know about your, your background, your growing up. What was that like? I grew up in Akoka. It was really fun. It was really fun. And it was somewhat rugged at some point. At some By point. rugged, what do you mean? Yeah, I spent like two years in Bariga. Oh, for real? Yeah, yeah. So Are you a rugged boy? No, I, I won't say I am. Can you do rugged things? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ignore me. <laughs> But yeah, I was listening about your background. Yeah, yeah. So I spent a couple of years in, in Bariga. So mm. those times I learned a lot and I went through a lot at that point. So, mm. so yeah, it's, it was really fun. It was mm. really fun growing up. I got the privilege. Like my other brother was friends with Aidy Kabasa. So, oh, so, so I was somewhere hanging around when Olamide was shooting his first video in Iduro. Mm. Yeah, so I was watching from the background and everything. So I think music has always been a part of me. I used to go mm. with Kabasa to shows then. 
with nice and everyone so mm. it's always been something that was part of me but i didn't think i could do it and i think that kind of influenced me subconsciously it was mm. just like there mm. so but i actually started music as a hobby i didn't think i could take it into something serious but, but did you really see yourself doing nine to five yeah i did 100 percent. like funny story like mm. i had a neighbor he was a banker Mm. And he had a very, very nice car and he was always looking fresh with the tie and everything. So I felt like ah, this could be actually like a fun life, it could, be, it could right. be good. So I had that in my head that okay, maybe I could do a 9 to 5 and just live a mm. simple life for testing. It just happened. Yeah. Were you ever scared of fame? Mm. Fame is fun now. Like, why should you be scared of fame? Some people are scared of fame. Yeah, Some people want to live very normal lives. They, don't, yeah. they never want. I think Sia is a typical example because she doesn't put her face out there. So it shows that she's not. She doesn't want to be famous. She wants yeah. her music to be famous, but not her. Yeah, that also applies to me because when I put out visualizer videos, I was actually like cool with the fact that, okay, let me just keep putting out visualizer without mm -hmm. people really knowing my face, but easy. And when it comes to branding or like, you know, people need to know your face and all. What has changed for you? I can't move comfortably. I can't visit places I used to visit as frequently as before. Mm -hmm. yeah. Another thing that has changed for me, I'm yeah. not as famous as you are, but yeah. I kind of have to remember people all the time. And do you have people come up to you and say, you don't remember me, I saw you yeah, last week and yeah, we had a conversation. Yeah, yeah, it happens a lot. Like, some, someone will be saying hi and I'll be like, hi. Then, you know, when you just greet someone, like, you greet someone like you just met them for the first time mm -hmm. and they're like, but well, we met before. I'm like, oh, so we met Abuja, so we didn't meet in Abuja. So, <laughs> please, like, it's very awkward. I get that a lot. Yeah. Right. So let's talk about pressure, especially yeah. from fans. The minute you have your first hit, everybody gets on you. They want you to release more and more hits, yeah. regardless of how hard it is. They don't understand the process, and especially the creative process. How do you handle the pressure from fans and from the fact that the industry you're in is yeah. highly competitive? Yeah. What do you do to make sure that you're centralized and you're yeah. focused on your goals? Yeah, so I try not to let it get to me. I just like focus on, on my work. I just try to do my best and I make sure I listen to people's opinions when like, before I put out the song, I actually like play for a bunch of people. Like, does this feel like the right song to put out next? So I try my possible best. So even if I put it out and you know, it doesn't get as big as I want it to be. It has never happened though. But if it doesn't mm. get as big as I want it to be, I know I did everything in my power to make sure mm. that was great. Yeah. How do you handle trolls? Trolls. Sometimes I respond to them, sometimes I just ignore. Right. Yeah. How do you handle fans? Fans are, are my supporters and they're like one of the most important aspects of my my music, so yeah. Okay, amazing. Um, let's talk about pop culture, especially style and identity. Yeah. How important is style? an identity in pop culture. To be honest, mm -hmm. like when I first put on my first single, I wasn't too particular about style. I just wanted to like just put Look on enough. comfortable <laughs> yeah. <laughs> put on comfortable clothes and just and just be good boy. But I got to realise that you need to have like a stand, you need to have like something that represents you. Like when they get the name Joe Boy, there has to be something that comes to their mind first. So mm -hmm. so I'm actually working towards that. Style is very, very important in pop culture. Okay. What is the future of pop culture in Nigeria? The future of pop culture, like, it can only get bigger. It can mm -hmm. only get bigger. Like, we've seen the growth from, from legends like Two Faced to Whiskey and people like me coming through now. So it's only going to get better and bigger. 20 years down the line, where do you want people, what legacy do you want people to have of you? Um, that young boy that, that came up from the bottom, grew, grew, did legendary stuff, put out amazing music, changed lives. And maybe in, in time, so I could actually, like, help other people to, to be amazing. as big. Yeah. That's really good. What are you working on? What should we expect from you? Any upcoming yeah, projects? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a project. I'm really excited about this one. That is the next thing I'm putting out. I have a project coming out soon. Okay. Yeah. Any information you want to disclose in the meantime? Fingers crossed. Yeah. <laughs> should we expect an album from you soon? Yeah. For sure. Yeah, this year? For sure. This year. Now, a lot of people are saying 2020 isn't really the year to do anything that, or invest money into anything. Do mm -hmm. you agree? Yeah, to an extent, I think um, the pandemic has slowed down a lot of stuff, but but you just have to keep moving and you can't just decide, ah, I won't do anything because there's, there's a pandemic. How are you keeping safe? What are you doing to ensure that you don't get the virus? Like, this is actually the first time I've stepped out in weeks, like For real? four weeks, yeah. Amazing. Yeah. And I'm glad at least you came here, we sanitized, we yeah, face gum and all I washed that. my hands, sanitized <laughs> and everything. So I just tried to like distance myself as, as, as much as, as I can. As much as possible. Yeah. Amazing, good to know. Thank you very much for sharing. Thank you. We're going to watch the video of the day when we come back. Jova and I will be playing some games. Don't go anywhere. Be right back. <laughs> Uncle, wait a minute. I'll take something now. Wait a minute. I can get money get rent apartment. I don't know, but I don't say go go to Asha. See, Uncle, me have advice for you. I think you should go and do money ritual. Yes, if you do this ritual, Uncle, 
You get money to write an apartment. You buy a car. You buy a house. See, in fact, you buy me my laptop to do Yahoo Yahoo. Yeah. Which I can't use for this mattress. Your two eyes, man. Two eyes. Use your two eyes. So I'll have content to see. See my eyes. Use my eyes to see. Anywhere you want to go. Anywhere you want to go. <laughs> Since you won't help me, eh? Yeah. More use your own eyes now. What? Eh? I'm, just, I'm trying to give you advice. You're not changing it for me, Abi. I'm telling you what you can do to solve your own problem, to solve your life. Continue. I'm telling you that you use my own two eyes to do the trick. What nonsense is that, Uncle? I don't like it, though. Welcome back to Training brought to you by Airtel. I still have Joe Boy in my hot seat and we are about mm -hmm. to play some games. Are you ready? Yep, yep, yep. First up is a fast five question segment. I get to ask you a couple questions about yourself and you just answer them under a minute. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Great, time starts now. How do you spend your spare time? Video games. What is your most cherished item? My shoes. Favorite movie of all time? <laughs> just say Titanic. Everybody loves Titanic. Walking Dead. <laughs> Walking Dead, really? Okay. Yeah. Biggest moment? Biggest moment. Um, I think that was when I um, my first single got to number one on charts. Yeah, Amazing. Maybe. Yeah. Favorite African soup? Favorite African soup has to be has to be no um, <laughs> vegetable. Okay. Yeah. Favorite holiday? Christmas. <laughs> Christmas. Okay. Christmas. Pizza or shawarma? Pizza. Okay. Childhood superhero? Spider-Man. Favorite track of 2019? Favorite track of 2019 has to be baby. Okay, yeah. very well. Time is up with 60 seconds, but yeah. where are you from? I'm from Ogun State. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Both yeah. parents? Oh, uh, my dad is from Ogun State, my mom is from Ondo. Ondo. I was born mm -hmm. and I grew up in Lagos. Yeah, yeah born and bred in, in yeah. Lagos. Yeah, I knew you mentioned Akoka. Okay, yeah. we're going to move on now to the tribe. What happens in the tribe is that I get to ask you a couple of social media abbreviations and you just okay. give me a few meanings. Okay. Are you ready? Yep, I'm Great. ready. All right. First one, TMI. To my information. You got <laughs> everything else right with just that M. Too wow. much information. Wow. See, we're almost there. Wow. Okay, next one. IKR. I know, right? Yes. Uh, NBD. No bad days. <laughs> I like that, but that's not the answer. I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I help you. No big deal. No big deal. Okay. IG. Instagram. FB. Facebook. TTYL. Talk to you later. IDK. I don't know. LOL. Laughing out loud. Come on, you're like a champion. Yeah. Okay, I wish just like a naughty uh, give a round of applause. That's very <laughs> well. We're gonna go on a short break, and when we come back, Joe Boy will be reading some nasty comments. Do so not go anywhere, we'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back to Trending, brought to you by Airtel. I still have Joe Boy in my hot seat, and he's about to read some nasty comments. I'm gonna give this to you. Ah, your Andrews are here, I'm going to find you. <laughs> Okay, so first one from at Israel124. Mm -hmm. Boy, we suppose this could they do music. Joe Boy, a young boy, go and read and get a proper job. This music business is not your calling. Huh. Okay. That is weird. Okay. That is very weird. Okay. What you have to say about this? Okay. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> and then I mentioned, I asked how you handle trolls. So that, is that what you do? You just say, okay. Sometimes I have that time. Like, I let you put in work to actually like giving you bars, boys. <laughs> but right now, I'm on my church mind, so. So yeah. I'll just let it go. Okay. <laughs> That's good to know. I mean, obviously, this whoever wrote this, yeah. Ignorance. Yeah, ignorance. very, very, very. Well, thank you very much for coming on the show today, Joe Boy. You were thank amazing. You. Such a thank great you sport. Thank you much. Wish you the best of luck and um, we look forward to more hits from you, right? Yes, definitely coming through. Amazing. All right, guys. Enjoy the top five. I will be right back. Do not go anywhere. <laughs> Five music streaming apps. At number five, we have Shazam. Shazam is better known for its music detection skills. It also is a convenient means of streaming tracks once they're recognized. The application can identify music, movies, advertising, and television shows based on a short sample played and using the microphone on the device. It also provides lyrics for your chosen song. And at number four, it's Google Play Music. Google Play Music is an increasingly popular option. Its hallmark feature can upload 50,000 of your own songs for personal streaming. Google Play Music grants you full access to your cloud-based music collection on the go and from the play music website and at number three it's the youtube music youtube is one of the largest repositories of music in the world and youtube music gives you access to all of it it is probably the world's most popular free music app you can find virtually anything you have ever heard of you can also find official music videos live shows and even local bands from time to time you can also make playlists get recommendations and a lot more on the app and at number two 
Apple Music. Apple Music is Apple's music streaming service and it offers you complete access to any song in the Apple Music library, no matter where you are. Apple Music is well designed and you should have no problem swapping between the radio, synced songs and recommendations while using the app. And at number one, it's Spotify. One of the best known players in the game, Spotify, is a massive force in the streaming industry. Boasting of more than 80 million subscribers and offering access to over 40 million tracks from almost any artist you can think of, the mobile app boasts the same functionality as its desktop counterpart, allowing you to stream single tracks or entire albums with the option to create custom playlists. All right, guys, it's about time for me to close the curtains and call it a day. Thank you very much for tuning in. Thank you for sticking with my guests and I had Jobo in my hot seat. And you can join the conversation. Follow us on Twitter at HipTV. You can also follow me on Instagram, if you wish, at Nancy Isime Official. Until I see your pretty faces next time, do not forget that I love you, but God loves you more. Goodbye. <laughs>